Man, I will tell you this. These beds that they give you, and these Cascadias, well, at least with variant, man, they are so comfortable, you don't want to wake up. Just leave me alone. Oh. All right, but seriously, I gotta wake up. I got things to do. Let's see, today's plan. I have to go and drop this trailer about two hours away, and then I have to go find a trailer, which is gonna be in the same yard. It's over at our total yard. So go to total and get another trailer, and then head out to a shipper, pick up a load, and then head towards Ohio. Which is cool because I'm hoping I can get to a terminal tonight because I got to do my 34 and I got to do laundry. So that is the goal. But at first I have to get up out of this bed and I do not want to. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Well, I'm going to get up, guys, and take you with me. Say our prayers and hit the road. Hey, those of you that are not subscribers, come on and subscribe to my channel. You guys can do it. Fantastic, you guys. Uh, congratulations to those uh, those new guys and ladies who are joining Variant. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, any questions you have, man, let me know what you got. I'll help you out the best I can. And if I don't know the answer, I'll find out for you. But pretty much uh you know i know variant pretty well so yeah hit me up if you have any questions my information is in the description and uh hey use me as a referral you know i'll guide you the whole way through until you were on the road and you were comfortable and you were like man i'm making money so that's the goal right make money all right guys take care of yourselves don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification and also that big thumbs up all right god bless everybody Okay, we are leaving the bunk. We're getting out of here. We're going to walk to the showers. The weather's about 55 degrees. We're going to take trash out. Take a little walk. Let me turn these lights off. Very big spaces. This is why I love coming to Love's. You know, you have plenty of room to maneuver. And it's not like you gotta, you know, complete an obstacle course when you wake up in the morning. The first thing I'm gonna do when I get out of here is get fuel. And then hit the road. All right, we need to get our shower, don't we? All right, let's log in to our trusty app.
showing my location. Get closer to the store. Maybe that's why it's not picking me up. I know they got showers in here. Let's try this again. Shower is ready. Shower five. Damn. I always put this on zero because I was like freezing my uh, shower, you know? Alright, so we're in the shower. Again, you guys have been here before. And I always check the hot water first. <clears throat> Let's put down our towels to make our path to the sink. Always hit that shower first though. Make sure the hot water works. Oh yeah, it's hot. Okay guys, I'll be back. All right, shower's complete. Yeah, I'm wearing the same clothes. I never change my clean clothes inside the, uh, the loves. I always get changed in my bunk. So these are the clothes from yesterday and I'll put on some new clothes when I get back to my truck. I don't want my new clothes to touch. Anything. <laughs> I'm worried about that. So now we're done. We're gonna go ahead and get a cup of coffee. Maybe get a bite to eat. Because if I see something, that's what this guy. Alright. I'm waiting for the camera to go off or the, the lighting to stop. There we go. It's getting darker. I don't want people seeing it. Do they freak out?
that. Pretty nice, huh? How much are these? 25 bucks. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy that today. All right, let's go to the truck. So as you can see, the loves here, very nice. It's not bad, right? Considering pilots are terrible. I mean, like I had responded to, to, I think Jeff, Jeff, you were saying how, man, you hope pilot shapes up a bit, right? I agree with you, they need to. But I don't think they ever, they ever will, unless, unless that one truck stop nine or uh, one nine takes over. I mean, I know they're like, I guess the same company, I guess, but they operate under the different umbrella, almost like Varian, and US, uh, Varian US Express, Swift, Knight and all that. You know, it might be one big company, but everybody operates differently. So that's how I look at Pilot and One Nine. So yeah, until Pilot shapes up, I'm just gonna keep on. I'm just gonna keep on going because I might have not. I, I may not have a choice. You know, I may not have a choice to go to a uh, to a stop like Pilot. I did sleep like a champ. I slept so well last night. Walking to my truck right now, I'm thinking, hey man, where did I park? And it's right across the way here. <laughs> I see a variant at my 12 o'clock. I'm on the, uh, the nine o'clock. I'm over here. How embarrassing would that be, going to a different variant truck? Of course you'll realize it once you see the numbers, but that's how good of a sleep, sleep I had last night. All right, here we are. We're gonna go inside here, get ourselves squared away, get ready to roll here. We're gonna roll probably like at two o'clock. Right now it is one. 140, so shoot, we're gonna be rolling here pretty soon. Time flies by when you're in the shower. Alrighty, let's get you off my belt. Okay, now we're gonna get changed into some new clothes. That way I get these dirty clothes off of me. But yeah, I don't change clothes inside the showers. Only because I don't want my new clothes to touch anything inside that place. It's kind of weird, but that's how I feel. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, so we're changed up, we're good to go. I'm gonna go outside, do my pre-trip, and then I'm gonna settle down, have some coffee, and then get ready to roll out of here. All right, and you guys, you guys know the deal with um maybe I should start pre-tripping right now actually you guys know the deal about pre-trip so I'm not gonna go over every certain thing I'll go over really specific ones that I think are the most important of course everything on your truck is very important when you're inspecting it pre-trip you want know, to you do your fluid levels and all that you know I usually do my fluid levels all the time when I'm finished driving for the day um, so this is my system you know, I mean, I do check it once in, a, once in a while during the morning, I'm not gonna lie, but not all the time. I always do it every day though when I stop. Um, or sometimes in between, but usually in the morning times when I wake up, I don't touch it. Um, I just, I keep on rolling. Uh, but sometimes I do, so don't yell at me too much. Uh, but as far as everything else in this truck, you wanna make sure these lights are working. Of course, your kingpin, you know, um, your stickers. Stickers get ripped off, especially you guys traveling in Texas towards the border be careful your stickers will get ripped off by uh, certain drivers so make sure you always have to check your stickers all right let's go check it out
seat. The stickers here. Check all your stickers. Check your caps. Caps are always taken as well. The lines. And of course, your kingpin. Right there. That lock is right across. It's good. Look down the way, no problem. If you're carrying placards, make sure your placards are in place. Everything is good, yep. Your, your pin is still sticking out. That's what you want to make sure of. Your lines, not cut. Watch out for dog doo-doo. Because these drivers, man, they have dogs. No offense, I love dogs, but man, some of these guys do not clean up after their dogs. So you gotta be really careful. Man, you step in dog stuff and you go inside your truck, that's a miserable time. I've never had that happen, knock on wood. I always make sure I watch where I step. Signal's working, placards are there. Your mud flaps weren't stolen. And you know what? I'll point out one more thing. Those rubber, those rubber seals that are in the lines, right in between both glad hands, right? Right, wait till light comes on. This one here, this, this one here, that black seal in the middle, make sure those are still there. Like I said, you go down towards the, uh, the Mexican border, they are known to steal from American trucks. So watch out, be careful out there, especially down by Texas, Arizona, the border, gotta be careful. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pre-trip by the computer's point, relax, have some coffee, and then I'm gonna get ready to roll out of here. Check that out, Texas carrier, door to door. Cool truck. Now this is a pretty big, uh, pretty big loves. And as you can see, the fuel islands are packed. But I think I see one all the way to the right that might be open. Right by that express trailer. Oh man, I hate to go there and it's not available. We're gonna check it out. I think a lot of guys don't want that one because it's the last one and they don't want to walk. Oh, it's open. Oh, it's ours. How about that? Right by the old fellow US Express. Shout out to you. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna do it right here. Let's see. Let me log on duty for fuel. And get her done.